Good of you guys to join us in today's interview. We have a very special guest with us this episode. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Super Mexican Mia herself. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> we are so happy to have you here with us. I am so excited to be here. So on today's show, we have Super Mexican Mia here to tell us the story behind her YouTube sensation name and how it came to be. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, yeah? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm an artist who sings, writes songs, paints, and I'm also a YouTuber. I go by the name of Super Mexican Mia on YouTube and on all social media. <laughs> wow, a man of many talents. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how did this all start? Or actually, when? It all started in middle school after carpooling with a friend. They were very much into their Mexican heritage and culture, and I was like so inspired by that. Uh -huh. So, before that, were you ever into your Mexican background? Uh, I'm sorry, I assume Mexican, I mean super Mexican me, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Uh, my parents are actually both from uh, Oaxaca, Mexico, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was very interested, but back then I had a very closed-minded set of my family's background. Well, I love to hear the stories about growing up and crossing the border, but I never found the culture itself as interesting as I did after meeting this person. Was there something that didn't allow you to be interested? Well, what I saw was how religion was very much tied into the culture, and I've never been a big fan of religion, and I'm actually a spiritual person myself. Wow, so if you hadn't have met that friend, you wouldn't be Super Mexican Mia here today, right? Yes, and I'm so grateful for their influence on me because after meeting them, I found myself more interested in wanting to learn Spanish and interested in more music like bandas, bachatas, and Mexican artists. Amazing! And did they help you come up with that nickname or...? No, I was actually thinking of an Instagram handle for my Instagram you know, at that time. Wow, and this was back in 2012, right? Yes! And by then, I was really into being Mexican, and I felt very powerful, prideful, happy, and grateful to be born Mexican-American, you know, and to have the family I have. And that's where the super part came from. Um, I felt like a superhero. Yeah. Wow, that's a very strong reasoning coming from a 12-year-old. Yeah, I actually used to make capes for my super Mexican meal. Look. No way! Did you have any you held on to? No, I wish, but the first one I actually made was from a blue cotton, and I wrote a super Mexican Mia in a sharpie on the back. Super adorable. And you said the first, you made more? Yeah, I actually made an updated one and it was uh, from a green fabric with red and white uh, ribbons on it and it was for a skirt my mom made for my little sister for her elementary performance. Wow, you really said reduce, reuse, or recycle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say. <laughs> okay then! <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming, Super Mexican Mia. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored. Aw, shucks. The honor is ours, and thank you for sharing your story of how Super Mexican Mia came to be. Of course! And is there any last message you'd like to give to those folks watching at home? Honestly, just be yourself. Mm, now nah, <laughs> But I'm also saying this to my younger self and any kid out there who's going through like trying to figure themselves out too. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just do you, have fun, and don't be too hard on yourself. You'll do great things and you'll be great. So do whatever you want without caring what people will think or say about you, you know? Yes! I mean, you only have the present here and now, and if you dwell too much on the past, you'll get depressed, and if you think about too much of the future, then you'll get anxious, you know? <laughs> so just do what you can for yourself, try to always be positive, and better days will come if that day isn't already today. Thank you so much for having me here today, and thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Wow, couldn't have said it any better myself. Thank you so much, and thank you to everyone. Have a good night.